Good morning. Morning, good morning. Yeah. My name is Lucy Fumla Yuadeluba, Assistant Director from Nigeria Geological Survey Agency. I'm here to present a paper on challenges of Assistna and small scale mining sector in Nigeria and the role of Nigeria Geological Survey. My presentation outline Introduction Nigeria's Mining Sector Reform, ASM in Nigeria, ASM Products in Nigeria, Challenges of ASM in Nigeria. Nigeria Geological Survey Agency, our mandate, what we do, roles in ASM in Nigeria. We got roles to play. ASM in Nigeria ways forward. ASNA and small scale mining, ASM, are formal or informal operations with predominantly simplified form of exploration, extraction, processing, and transportation. ASM is normally low capital intensive and uses high labor intensive technology. ASM includes men, men and women working on an individual basis as well as those working in family groups, in partnership, or as members of cooperatives or other types of legal associations and enterprises involving hundreds or thousands of miners. Definition of terms. ASM, our country definition of ASM is based on size, size of consumption and the level of technology and, is, and it is distinguishes between ASNA and small scale mining. According to Nigeria Minerals and Mining Act of 2007, Artisanal mining is limited to utilization of non-mechanized methods of reconnaissance, exploration, extraction, and processing of mineral resources within small-scale mining leads. While small-scale mining is that involving low level of technology or application of method, not requiring substantial expertise for the conduct of mining operation within small-scale leads area. Oh, actually, in our practice, we cannot really differentiate between the two. They are, are, are almost the same. Mining cooperative. Group of artisanal miners or of not less than 20 mutually agreed to work together to pool and harness their resources for the purpose of mining and register as cooperative under relevant federal or state laws of mining cooperatives because we found out that most of the uh, most individual could not uh, assess the requirement or could not uh, meet, meet up with the requirement needed for the registration to, the, 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 to collect mining lists for that particular area they wanted to work. That is why Nigeria didn't face that. It's possible that group of people that can agree together, maybe in a cluster, they will now move together about 20 or less, so that they form association or cooperative, so that it will be easier for them to put resources together and work together as a, co as a cooperative. Background of artisanal mining in Nigeria. ASM is the oldest form of mining in Nigeria. Reason for declining Decline of mining industry in Nigeria. You know, in the early 19th century, we found that the mining was a real business in Nigeria, especially the solid mineral. But because of uh, the oil boom, because of oil boom, because there was a policy in Nigeria around 1970 that ostracized foreign investors from operating in commercial quantities, a commercial See mining. And because of this, people left their mining site and they began, they left mining. And now they now come together to start the ASM mining. That is the genesis of ASM mining in Nigeria. And ASM today, they donate Nigeria, dominate Nigeria mining space in recent time. And the operation is about 90% of total output of Nigeria minerals. ASM generates rural livelihood and potential for poverty alleviation. 
background of mining activities in Nigeria, that is Nigeria mining sector. Prevalent issues to Nigeria mining sector reform, that is between, uh, before 2005, there are inadequate geological information and data. There is a uh, opaque and inefficient licensing procedure leading to speculative title. Everybody just go to feed. They uh, believe they obtain the uh, uh, tit uh, title holding. They obtain title holding of their uh, respective place, but at times they do class with other people. So because of this, there are a lot of problems. When you go to your field, you can meet other people there tomorrow. If you finish work today, before you come tomorrow, you can meet other people there. But um, there is, because there is no control for the operations, and because of this prevalence of uh, illegal mining activities, and there are always jurisdiction conflict between federal and state government, state always lay hold on the the ownership of the land, the ownership of the mineral. Be and there's always conflict because if they go to the field, they want to collect royalty from the, sta uh, from the operator. The state wants to collect royalty and they will see federal mines officer coming again to collect uh, royalty. These are a, a great problem then. But because there was a Mineral sector reform around 2000, between 2003 and 2005. We have some outcomes of that reform. Reorientation of government from owner operator to administrator regulator. Before, before, the, uh, before the reform, government always they have mining corporation that government undergo mining on their own. But after the reform, the orientation changed and government move from owner operator to administrator regulator. Uh, government now direct or divert their investment to private sector. That is, the private sector now moved solid mineral in my country. There is liberal and transparent access to mining title. That is that if you come first, you are going to get their title. There is guaranteed security of tenor of mining titles, competitive physical incentives, and strengthening geological data generation. After this reform is when our, uh, my office, Nigeria Geological Survey Agency, we became an agency. We moved from department under the Ministry of Mine and State Development, but moved to stand as a processor as a agency on our own, and as institutional and human capacity building. Nigeria mining Minerals and Mining Act 2007 is enacted based on international best practices, institutional repositioning through creation of technical departments and agency. After the reform, there is a new state of art, mining cadastral office where anybody can get to and collect their license and titles. And there is Nigeria Geological Survey, according to, as I said before. There, was, uh, there is mining inspectory department. They are the people that go to the field to inspect mining activities. And there is mine environmental compliance department dedicated to artisanal small scale mining activities. That, that is artisanal small scale mining department. And there is Nigeria Institute of Mining and Geosciences that people that are interested to learn more about geosciences and mining, they always go to, to uh, uh, obtain their OND and HND degree. SM, what it stands for? SM is a livelihood strategy adopted primarily in rural areas. It is practiced mainly among the rural areas. ASM is production system that allows local people to earn cash income. It provides an accessible livelihood for poor and marginalized people. It complements other livelihood activities such as agriculture, animal husbandry, and and outing. In Nigeria, an estimated 500,000 individuals are directly engaged in ASM, while over 1.2 million are indirectly engaged. People in the field, in the site, you see people selling for them, people providing one service or the other to them. It serves as a support, serves as a support operation in times of environmental or economic stress. Now that we recently we are in economic recession, most of people who are in the field looking for one way of getting their livelihood. It really supports people. When ASM is not formalized or organized, ASM can be fueled negatively 
by government and uh, environmentally because of its potential for environmental damage and disruption and conflict. But when properly formalized, governments and donor agencies like the World Bank believe that ASM can contribute to socioeconomic uh, development in poor and rural, area, in rural areas. ASM is a means of job creation and uh, world creation. In Nigeria, a lot of people have moved uh, I've got their job, they've got job through this ASM and they've got, they got wet through it. It's a kind of thing that really helps people, especially when there's a, an employment in the land, unemployment in the land. ASM in Nigeria is regulated by government through ASM department, as I said. Nigeria Mining Act and provider leg, uh, Mining Act 2007 provided legal backing. Provide legal by standing for ASM activities in Nigeria. They are operating under the law. Under the mining, the Mineral and Mining Act 2007, individual mining cooperative and corporation could obtain license and start their operation. They are normally formalized as into cooperative and quarry association. About 1,380 cooperative applications received and 618 mining cooperatives as well dealing with different classes of minerals have been registered and certified as of today. Mining artists are operating outside the government regulatory framework that is without valid mining license title or lease or that are not associated with one or cooperative or association with or the other are referred to as illegal mine, miners. We still have them plenty in the country. Nigeria, ASM Nigeria, we get, we, at, we get a lot of support from World Bank. It's about $127 million. Started around 2003 up to 2012. Uh, this added formalization of ASM is a cooperative for establishment of mineral buying centers. According to what Mr. John said yesterday, those buying, uh, mineral buying centers were functioning before, but it's as if uh, something is going wrong with them presently. There is a provision of grant and extension services to ASM cooperative. Those cooperatives that could not afford to get money to carry out their job, they approach the, the support program and the goal. Uh, grant. Another one is the my Mineral Sector Support for Economic Diversification Project, MIDIVA. About $150 million was released for that. And this one is still ongoing. It's a provision of, it's a his provision of grant and extension service to ASM Cooperative and proposed establishment of Mineral Resources Center. This particular center is for follow, value addition and beneficiation of mineral products so that they will not be exporting raw, raw minerals outside the country. By exporting raw minerals outside the country, it makes the government to lose a lot of revenue. So because of that, it will be a very good, good, um, a good benefit for us. Bank of, Bank of Industry release about 5 billion naira credit facility with low interest rate to the ASM operators. And Solid Mineral Development Fund, recently Federal Government of Nigeria released 30 billion naira as intervention fund, intervention fund from, uh, to assist the ASM operator in order to carry out their activities. Keep the, I said key function of ASM department. ASM department of the ministries has the sole responsibility of my, of, uh, of uh, controlling, of helping the ASM operators. Some of their functions are they coordinate and formalize informal miners in the country. They provide extension service to performing miner cooperatives and quarry association for exploitation, mineral processing, entrepreneurial training, environmental management, and health and safety issues. They are solely responsible for registration, licensing, and administration of mining cooperative and mineral buying center. That's their function. ASM product in Nigeria, we have precious minerals, and gems, gold, and variety of gemstones such as uh, sapphire, emerald, tomli, aquamarine, garnet, topaz, tycon, acid, citrine, smoky coarse, and a lot of 
Metallic minerals include cassiterite, columbite, santalite, imanite, lead, zinc, ore. Non-metallic minerals include gypsum, barite, silica, sand, bentonite, dolomite, limestone, kaolin, aggregate, gravel, and cyrus sand. We have a lot. ASM in Nigeria, the challenges. Yes, the, the, this encompasses the social, environmental, economic, as well as legal aspect in policy formulation. We can see from this picture that the operators in the field, they are poverty driven. If you go to their means, a lot of things going on. Other challenges are minimal lack minimal level or lack of mechanization, great amount of physically demanding work. You can see from the pictures, I think the pictures speak for itself. People are using manual, manual labor to do most of their work. There is no mechanization or any technology being applied in their, in their work. On skilled personnel at all level of operation, both technical and management. In the efficient mining and and processing techniques that leads to low recovery and low level of production because they depend mainly on their manual labor. So it's, to recover good value, a good mineral is always difficult because of the techniques being uh, employed. Lack of relevant geoscientific knowledge and skill, such as estimation of mineral itself, the structural retention of mineral stroke oil deposit, the grade of oil deposit, special orientation of the mineral deposit, engineering properties of rock. If, any, if, a, if a group of people get to an area and they maybe they get to know that they see some, uh, some of these gems, they started working without even know how they occur. Maybe the reserve is even okay for them to work on. They don't want to care. Maybe we, they don't want to find out what is the structural retention of the rock. They don't want to know if the grade of what they are about to embark on is good or not. They don't know the orientation of those minerals. They just started, they just uh, moved to the field and start operation. Low level consideration for occupational health and safety issues. Yes, we can see a pit there. They don't mind if, they are, if the work could fall on them. They are there operating under this uh, health, uh, safety hazard. They don't want to care if it's going to kill them or not. They operate anyhow. Okay, occupational health and safety challenges. One of the challenges that they face, they are exposed to dust. They are exposed to mercury, lead, and other chemicals. About three years ago, there was a lead poisoning in one of our states, San Farah State. This is because of the artisanal miner, they don't know that when they are, look, uh, when they are mining, they are mining for, for gold, they, 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 there was occurrence of lead. And because of that, they mistakenly mine gold which are carried to their hall, to their places of living. And because of that, it affected a lot of people and it killed a lot of people around that area. Effect of noise and vibration, effect of poor ventilation, heat and humidity, lack of oxygen, all those in, under the pit they are working. And in the inadequate working space and inappropriate uh, equipment are some of their challenges in the field. Little or no regard for the environment. They mine ever sadly. They don't care about the environment, and after, after finishing their, whatever they are looking for, they don't even bother to go back there to, do the, uh, to close back the pits where they mine. You can see a stream channel, there's a, there's a river channel there. They don't mine, they go there and mine, and don't care for, they don't really care for what is happening there. Environmental challenges include erosion damage and deforestation, landscape destruction, mercury, lead, cyanide pollution, direct dumping of tailings and effluent into the rivers, improper constructed tailings dams, improper closure, river damage in alluvial areas, river situation, garbage and solid waste. If you get to one of the, uh, uh, some of the sites, if you, you'll be so amazed about the solid waste that's in pile up around the area. Which, which is not even good 
for human habitation. On ski local method of operation, you can see this is the local mining of brine in one of our uh, states, that's around us, the Sarawak state, Kaina. This is the local method being used to mine uh, brine. This is the earth, the crater that the miners are living in. Social vices include women. A women participated. You can see a woman panning, or some women panning for uh, women panning, panning there. It is a natural state. And among them there, you see a lot of prostitution. You see a lot of spread of HID, HIV, and, yes, and STD. And you got you many of the camps you have conflict among them. Illicit use of drugs, child labor. You can see from the, from that picture that most of people there they are children, children on that are supposed to be in the school. They are always there with them, do the mining activities. Chronic lack of working and investment capital. Lack of financial support from banks and other physical institutions because they don't have anything to tender to take loan. Lack of value addition to mineral product. Some middlemen will come and we just uh, take the minerals away from them because they cannot add any value to those uh, mineral products. Lack of access to market and further access of mineral products. Low level of income. There is a seasonality in operation. During the farming season, you will see them abandoning the feed, and they will go to do. They will go for farming. After the rain, after the uh, rainy season, they will come back to start their work. And when there is a rush for a particular mineral, uh, from about ten years ago, when there was a rush for uh, for tantalite, you see a lot of them in the field because there was a rush for that particular mineral, and there is a uh, high price for it at that particular period. So you will see them in the field operating. They are, most of them still, we still have most of them operating without legal mining title. And loss of revenue to government, surely, and smuggling of mineral products. There is a national security. Illegal migration of foreigners from one side to the other, especially near the border state. You see the Mali, the Chadians, they are always there operating with them. And most of this uh, little problem we have recently, Boko Haram, have mainly as a result of one of those things because they are coming into the influence of the foreigner coming into this, into the country. Nigeria Geological Affairs Agency. It was established in 1919 following the disbandment of mineral survey of northern and southern Nigeria. Main objective was the recognition of mineral resources rather than time consuming because the foreigners, they don't have time. Our colonial master, then they don't have time to sit down to do geological mapping. They are only particular about the, uh, where there is mineral. So they, all, they carry out recognizance mineral resources. Today, NGSA was established in 2003 by Federal Executive, Executive Council to replace Nigeria Geolo uh, Geological Survey Department. It was known as a uh, Geological Survey of Nigeria was a department under Ministry of Mines and Solid, uh, Ministry of Mines and Steel Development before, but after 2003, we now became an agency under the federal government of Nigeria. The hack that established Nigeria Geological Survey Agency was ratified by National Assembly and passed into, the, into law in 2005. And the primary objective is to inaugurate the solid mineral sector in Nigeria. Our mandate, Nigeria Geological Survey. Our mandate include acquisition management and delivery of geological data and information on the national territory. We are to natural resources related to subs subservient energy, including geothermal energy, mineral, minerals, water, other ground space. Geohazard monitoring, like earthquake, poisonous, poisonous glass, uh, gases, mass movement, land subsidence monitoring, and the mitigation of their impact. 
We are into environmental management, including waste management. We are to produce geoscience information for the development of viable mining industry and for poverty elevation. Carrying out basic geoscientific research to advance the knowledge of geology and the mineral deposits in Nigeria and elsewhere. Producing geological data that encourage sound environmental management. Serve as, we are serving as the national de uh, depository of all geoscientific information relating to the earth, marine, and geomagnetic space. Most of the uh, geoscientific information in the country are being stored with, uh, with us. It is in our, we have an office, a Kaduna office, that's our national laboratories uh, center. It's where we kept all those things. What we do? We are into regional geology mapping. We are to airborne geophysical survey, mineral exploration, regional geochemical mapping, sedimentary basin studies, hydro and environmental geology, engineering geology studies, geophysical ground follow-up surveys, marine coastal geohazard monitoring, and we are into consultants. There's a lot of we have different departments in Nigeria Geological Survey. We have Regional Geology Department. We have Economic Geology Department. We have um, Geophysics Department. And we have various centers. We have Geoassan Monitoring Center. We have uh, uh, laboratory, National Laboratory in Kaduna. We have Information Center in Abuja too. That's in the uh, Federal Capital Territory. And just arrows in ASM in Nigeria. We can see, as we have been saying since the beginning of this uh, workshop, that major impediment to the success of ASM operator in Nigeria and elsewhere is lack of knowledge about the geologic environment under which they operate. The ASM, they don't have knowledge or, or little knowledge about the environment which they operate. So NGS contributed to the development and growth of ASM, especially in the area of advocacy and technical support. NGSA support service to SM amounts include the training of local miners on simple operational techniques involved in mining business, such as basic mineral operation exploration. Whenever we are in the field and we come across them, we always put them through how to do it right. Most of them we, we come to their level to explain how to do it better. Some of them we, we accept what we are saying. Some of them, after, after leaving the site, they will continue doing it in their own way. Mining, we put them through in mining and processing method and marketing of their mineral, okay? And there is a program in Nigeria, Geological Survey, we call it Mineral Clinic. We hold this once in a month in order to sensitize them and tell them the right thing to do. We welcome, welcome them into our office every last Saturday of the month in all 36 states of Nigeria and federal capital territory. We open our doors to them. Nigeria, NGS is now with this and to provide simplified geological information on mineral deposit through extension services. Nigeria geologists have played a role in sensitizing the mining community in the need to address strictly to the best practices in management of mine tailing waste to safeguard the environment of harmful toxic. From time to time, we advise federal government or Ministry of Mines and, uh, and Steel in order to move the department forward, the, the sector forward. NGSA got roles to play. We are to complete and secure the release of geological data project and expand coverage and resolution of Nigeria data, of geosciences data. Like now, we are celebrating the broadband of 1 to 100,000 maps and 1 to 50,000 maps of Nigeria. And we are trying to, uh, uh, to do demarcation of environmental sensitive part, especially the wetland, where, well, that is not good for, for mining. We are operating a National Geoscience Research Laboratory in order to, to help in mineral housing or whole reserve evaluation. NGSA is conducting further geological mapping of no SM areas on the scale of one to 5,000 and one to 10,000, so that it will be easier for them to assess their area. And again, we are tr trying to make geological, geologic literature and map for the construction of layman operating in the ASM sector. We are making some paper so that they will be able to read and understand. 
data dissemination archive. Package your SCC data by state mineral type and other relevant parameters and make it available to them. Expand the channel for assessing public geoscience data, establishing national reporting standard in line with global best practices. And there's a, in connection and in, a, in collaboration with ASM, the part can go further to understand, uh, to, 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 to organize training, basic training on geological mapping, GIS application, environmental geology, among others, that we collaborate the ASM operator. We are looking at a, a way of working with a mines environmental compliance department in order to monitor the environment and carry out necessary tests on the ASM areas. ASM in Nigeria, ways forward. Number one thing I think can be of help to us is that I, we need to demarcate area for licensed as soon as small scale mining. This should have been the, the priority from the beginning. And microcredit, we still look forward to it so that every other, every people will access it. This will enhance family empower, empowerment. It will facilitate equipment acquisition and poverty alleviation. Number three, the, there needs to be enhanced education, key to eradicating child labor and access to better techniques, better education facility. This will discourage child labor. And when there is a better educational facility, people will be encouraged to go back to school, especially the young, uh, the children. Environmental legislation, monitoring and enforcement, there need to be monitoring and enforcement of our environmental law in order to decrease or to put stop to environmental challenges that we are facing. International community can support Nigeria in order to support the livelihood of community engaged in, in ASM. We need international community to support. And we need support for agriculture, especially the cash crop, to discourage illegal mining. We, there is need for international training and capacity building support to develop ASM sector in Nigeria. If there is training, if there is capacity building for those for the ASM operator, I believe we will get a higher grant. Thank you for your attention.